Good morning, friends. Happy Thursday. Welcome, welcome to Tune In Thursday. I am back this week. What a busy week. Today marks the beginning of Mercury retrograde. <laughs> Don't get scared of that. Retrograde is a great time and I'm going to explain why. Um, but I'd like to give it a moment and let some people join in. Kenneth, hi, good to see you. Welcome. Uh, let some people join in and then we'll get, we'll get to our talk this week. This week is really an exciting talk. It's about self-compassion as, um, for emotional connection. Um, so first off, let's, uh, let's welcome in worker retrograde and why that is important and why that will matter to you is that, you know, a lot of people are like, Oh my God, no, Mercury retrograde, not again. Look, the, okay. So, so things are going to be happening up in the universe and yes these things affect us i mean we have that that pull of the moon we have you know eclipses and and planets in alignment or out of alignment planets pulling back things all, all these all these things are happening energetically that affect us energetically and then we kind of feel like ah, you know i don't know what's going on okay Great, these are just times to, to slow it down, slow it down. Mercury retrograde, you know, people, I've, I've heard it, so many people say, oh no, here we, here we go again. I say, here we get to grow again. Take time out, take time out to rest. Take time out, uh, slow, slow your work down. In, I'm not saying stop it, just slow it down. Slow down what you're doing and do things with more efficiency during Mercury retrograde. It's going to help you during this time, I absolutely guarantee you. And a lot of rest and get your decks, get your things done you know if you guys have been procrastinating on stuff i don't know about you but i i procrastinate on certain things there's some spring cleaning i got to do in my house that i'm actually going to be focusing on this mercury retrograde get some things out cleared out cleaned out get my mind body cleaned out so that's what i'll suggest with retrograde all right so we're gonna dive in to today. Let's just go ahead and ground in everybody. I'd love for you to close your eyes and just take a moment to feel into your body. This is the very last Thursday of the month of July of 2018 and this day will never occur again in the history of the world. So you made it, welcome. Let's go ahead and just feel this living, breathing being that is you. Inhale, exhale through the nose and just literally feel this breath moving through you. You did not have a choice to wake up today. You woke up today based on the accord that you were given a gift of life. And today is a new day to practice living, experiencing. Let's go ahead and take a deep inhale and I want you to gently hold that breath in at the top. And then go ahead and exhale. And then one more time. And this time I want you to see if you can bring in the feeling of compassion. Deep inhale of compassion. And exhale out forgiveness. And last one, love, love. Inhale love. And exhale love. And go ahead and bring yourself back into this space. We are now here today going to talk about self-compassion for emotional connection. Now, I don't know about you, but I know I have been extremely hard on myself at times. Self-judgmental, self-critical, beat myself up have created stories about myself that I know aren't true. Oh, you're not good enough. Oh, you're not worthy enough. Oh, you failed at this. You made the mistake. And I've had to come back into a place of self-compassion to write it. Now, if you've been following me this week, you know that this week I, my surfboard, Annabelle, is missing by my own accord. I left her on the sidewalk and drove off. I was not paying attention. 
I was not fully present. And I've really had to sit with that this week. And I've done everything I can, you know, I feel I'm making calls and, you know, reaching out to people, reaching out to surf shops, I put up signs, talked to community, have surfers looking on the lookout for her. She's very special. And what it allowed me to realize that this object, this is not about the thing that I am missing or lost. This is about the thing that I was not tapping into within myself and that's self-compassion. I had, I have been for months in deep study, in building a business, in being in service, and I've been missing a component, com component of emotional connection with my fellow humans, with my closest friends and family. And that showed up in me losing my surfboard this week. And I had to really dive into that and I had to come into a space of vulnerability and super deep self-compassion and forgiveness. That this isn't a thing that happened to me. This is a thing that's happening through me. I do not consider myself a victim of circumstance. I feel that I am far more powerful than any circumstance condition that I am met with. But what am I doing with that? I'm allowing myself to look within and see where I'm lacking connection. Here, within myself. Being compassionate to the way I'm navigating things in life. You know, it's, it's, an, interesting, uh, it's an interesting path when you're a guide to, to people because when you're constantly in the study and you're not tapping into that same amount of self-compassion, we have a hard time finding compassion for other people. Have you ever been there? Where you found a hard time being compassionate towards someone else? You just look at someone's situation and you're like, well, that was stupid. Why did you do that? Or you're, you're not looking at somebody in a way that says, I hear you, I see you, I'm listening. But that turn it around, that's us not listening to ourselves. So if we're not having self-compassion, if we are not connecting to ourselves in the way that we know that we are meant to, how are we going to emotionally connect to those around us? We are human beings here to have human connection. So I really want you guys to feel into that this week. And a way that you can tap into self-compassion this week, notice what you're noticing. When you're making decisions and choices in your day, are you making them in a place of non-judgment and non-criticism especially when you see the results that are created from that decision or are you coming from a place of it's okay either way I'm going to love and accept you even if this situation happened So sit with that this week. Sit with your self-compassion. How much are you loving yourself? How much are you being compassionate to the way that you are in your relationships? Your relationships are going to show you how compassionate you are to yourself. I guarantee you. Just pay attention to that. It's a perfect reflection. And as soon as I tapped into that this week and allowed myself to be vulnerable and I cried. I'm not going to lie. I cried for the for the knowing of this surfboard that meant so much to me but it's not about the surfboard it's about me not tapping into me and I was able to connect with a friend who witnessed that process and she was so sweet and so kind about it and she also stopped me when I started beating myself up and right there boom
I got what I needed. Enjoy that. Sit with that. You guys have an amazing week. I am going to keep you updated on the surfboard <laughs> journey.